and then a time to abstain from coffee, alcohol, rent. That's right. This time, students from the University of Cambridge are following the footsteps of many homeless before them and decided not to pay rent. But why? My name is Hugo, and for over five months I've had a film degree, and now I'm putting it to use here on the Y Files, a local Cambridge news show where we don't know anything. Why? Exactly. Cambridge University for gifted youngsters, home to notable alumni like Isaac Newton, Stephen Fry and Harry Potter. But today's students have a more tumultuous relationship with the institution. I went on the cover to find out more. So, uh, how are you guys feeling about the uh, rent strike? Do you feel it's justified? Yeah, yeah. sure. I haven't heard of much about it. Yeah, fair play. In an open letter to the university, rent strike guys from Cambridge have demanded four things. One, a 30% rent reduction for the year and a 10% reduction overall, presumably in accordance with the cramped conditions students are forced to live in. Number two, all students must be allowed to study remotely should they wish. Number three, no COVID-19 job losses. Strange but true, students are insisting that no COVID-19 lose their job as a result of this corona pandemic. Four, no disciplinary action taken against the strikers, which means they'll receive zero negative consequences for their actions. 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 For their actions. I'd heard enough. I could no longer do nothing. So, like any good journalist, I had to get involved and strike while the iron was hot. As I wandered the streets of Cambridge cold and alone, I wondered if protesting was really the way forward. To answer that, I had to look backwards, to the past. Who are you? I have the history of every rent strike that has been, is now, and ever will be. Oh, history book. I am so lost. I tried to protest, but I found only the cold and failure in my mission. I am alone. Fear not, for you are not alone. This strike follows in the spirit of those before it. Students at the University of Manchester and Bristol who, too, bravely didn't pay rent and won a 30% reduction. You mean to say there is still hope? Thank you, history book, for everything. Bye, have a beautiful time. It seemed there was hope for the strike yet. A hope that students could one day pay rent, but not as much. For why? Why are students being forced to come back to study in the middle of a global pandemic? To pay rent? And why are people losing their jobs when the university was still having students pay rent? Why were all the negative effects trickling down to those at the bottom? I don't know. Maybe I'm just old fashioned or maybe I have a film degree and I have a lot of debt. But I know that the next time they ask me to pay rent, I'll think twice. Will you? For the white files from Cambridge Unwrapped, I've been Hugo. Why? Ask my parents. Yeah.